It's always something. With me, it's always something. Now I look up people saying 50 don't got enough lines in the movie. You make me feel like Tyrese. What more do you want from me? Twist to the plot that are not within, you know, the tr traditional heist film. It's, right. it's, it got a, like, it's, look, I read the script for the first time six years ago. Six years ago. Six years ago. Wow. And then it finally got made. Gerard is a part of it actually being made because he produced the film with Tucker Tooley. And they, they got it together finally. Mark, with Mark, Mark Canton? Mark Canton, yeah. Um, yeah, let's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great script. It's a really smart, fun heist movie. Right. You follow these two different tribes. You know, you have your criminals who are super smart and have a really kind of fascinating familial code. And then you also follow the, you know, the, the good guys, the cops, who ain't so good when you really get into the, how they live their lives, you know? So it's a real mixture. And you watch these two sides basically go towards this ultimate showdown. You know what's happening. And you see them become embroiled in each other's lives. And it's super cool, really authentic look at the, 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 the criminal underworld in, in Los Angeles. And kind of, you watch it happen, you go, you feel like it's gritty, and you really could, this really could unfold. This yeah, you get it, because the police law enforcement ends up in a gray area where they, they become criminal to combat the criminal element. Right. You know, and when you see, like, when you know people who wake up and go to sleep with criminal intentions, then you know it's, tough, it's a tough job to combat that. Right, 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 right. And, and then he kind of, like, Gerard's character gets super aggressive and, and so far immersed into the job that he starts doing all kind of shit. Man. So I'm, yeah. inter I'm interested, I know a lot of fans are interested too, what y'all chemistry was like on set? Like, did it start off cool and then y'all started hate each other and get back cool again? Y'all started hating, like, how was it? You know what? It was, look, the whole time, like, it was, it was cool to be there, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a fan of his work, so you see different things, like, like I keep seeing Leonidas, like, you know, like, don't bring me a bad fucking message. I will fuck up the messenger. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't play with me. So when you see that and those different things, like low abiding citizen, different roles that he played, particularly the, the the aggressive, the tougher roles. Right. When him and those those kind of characters, it resonates strong with me. You he know does a saying? great Leonidas impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> he does that scene. The oh, way it should have been done. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Let me hear one line. I know what you're going to say. I'm just telling you, don't say what you're going to say. <laughs> you're going to pay for this. And it's like, that's what Leonidas should have been saying. So, you know, <laughs> no I have a bad feeling about it. You might not want to go any further. <laughs> hey. real deal. Yeah, but when they get a chance to see it, like he, he had to, to start the film before we started the film because he had to put on like 23 pounds for it. Because the character's Big Nick, like from the in the script, so he he went and and you know a lot of people they get nervous when they got to work with Gerard because they don't know which version of Gerard they're gonna see. Because if right. you come in, especially if you got some sexy to your aura or to who the people perceive you as, if the motherfucker come in Leonidas, he come in there like that at three hundred stand with the abdominal muscles popping out there like that. <laughs> Fuck up your personal action, you know what I'm saying? Fuck up your life. <laughs> You be singing some Justin Timberlake shit talking about you bringing sexy back. <laughs> because you know, you know, it is, it, it should have shift. Start feeling different. So you see, I saw like like Pablo Schreiber, he was like training hard. He was working. He was like he was, almost he was training hard. He yeah. was almost in competition with Gerard for a little bit. Like, and I was like, right. yo, I'm glad I'm black. My shit looks different. Like, you know, <laughs> it looks like I have suntan lotion on. Hey, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Gerard, I, I want to know, um, I want to know, what what were you thinking before uh, before working with Fifty? Like what 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 were your thoughts about working with Fifty as an actor? 
Well, well, you know, we were, I was saying this yesterday that when I found out, I didn't know that 50 had read the script that long ago. He read it like six years ago because he yeah. was friends with the producers. And I just remember the day that Christian, um, this is just like a, a year and a half ago, said, by the way, 50 Cent really wants to play Ensign. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? 50 wants to play Ensign? Yeah. This is a great moment. One of the things I love about acting is movies that you've been with, stories that you've been with, characters that you've imagined. And then suddenly you hear about somebody that you love. And I love this guy. I mean, I love him as, a, as an artist, but right. as an actor as well. And to think that he wanted to do this movie. And at first I thought, this is just Christian. Because sometimes Christian gets overexcited. Right. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'll probably find out 50's never read the script in his movie. <laughs> like, like, no, dude, he wants to do it badly. So it was it was great. It was great to, to hear that. And then to hear O'Shea and Jackson wanting to get involved and Pablo and suddenly you're sitting there with a great cast. That's the fun of this journey, you know? Yo, oh shit, we had to do training for two weeks before we actually started the movie. And it you was like, what? we trained, like the military training. So like a boot camp? Could, yeah, so we could actually, you know, use the weapons the right way on set. Oh, wow. Because he had no idea how to use a weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah they had this using weapons. handguns. They got machine guns in this shit. So <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, show me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> You know, so they got the saw, all that shit. Like, you probably you fired a gun before in your life. Probably you haven't fired a gun that has a belt full of bullets that goes in a box. Okay. Oh, y'all was on that. Y'all like was on real that. military shit supposed to be hanging up the side of a chopper type of thing. You know what I'm oh, saying? Y'all was on that Arnold Schwarzenegger. Different level. Yeah. Please show me how to use this before I fuck around and hurt myself. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but but with Shane, there was a point where he was like, yo. Cause it was we was working like they had us out there early running around and we was they were doing tactical training for law enforcement and stuff like that while we was doing military stuff, oh, and shit it, it had started getting cold. Did y'all we do out. both? Did y'all do both training like switch it up like you do military you do tactical? No. Separate, 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 separate yeah. trainers. You know, um, teaching in slightly different ways of how the police go into combat and how soldiers because these guys are ex-military how they go into combat. You know, so that, that was a big thing, again, was the authenticity of right. watching these guys going in the gun battle and how they back each other up, the moves they make, the signs they make, yeah. and, and really seeing the difference. Wow. And it was, it was, it was like, yo, like, there was one point where O'Shea was like, I'm, but I'm the driver. <laughs> like, I'm not going to do this. <laughs> it's not in the movie. It's not in the script, bro. <laughs> I still got to do this. He was like, he was trying to get out of the... The physical training shit. He he has a, laid. Oshie, Oshie has a UFC belt that, from his buddy, uh -huh. and he loves to put it on and run around like he's a UFC champion. But he's the kind of like UFC champion that doesn't actually want to do any of the work. None of the physical <laughs> training shit. He just wants to be the UFC champion. Like, he didn't. UFC <laughs> champion? <laughs> <laughs> but by yeah. the way, he had a point. It's like in the movie, he doesn't know how to fire a gun. Yeah, it's not his thing. Yeah, he's like, why are you teaching me this shit? Like, why, why do I have to learn this now? Because right. It'll be movies in the future that they'll benefit from that portion of the training, you know? In the future, he'll go, I don't need to do it. I did it before. I did it before. <laughs> why y'all trying to teach me this shit? That's so dope, man. So it comes out January 19th. Uh, I'm going to actually see y'all when y'all come to L.A. And we're going to film something. I'm going to act with y'all toe-to-toe. We're about to get in this uh, acting scene. Did you he said he's ready. He said he's ready. He's going to... As long as you don't get back on that piano, you come up and act with us anytime. <laughs> I'll leave All right. the piano at home. I'll leave the piano right here, and I'll right. bring the acting skills with me. No, dude, that was good, man. I like I like the choices nah, you were making. Yeah. I Thank feel you, like you classically trained a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I hope there ain't no button or no shit over there. Yeah. Put, and it's playing for you. Hey, yeah. I got it. No, 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 no Come on now. It's your boy. I'm out. I'm really out here. All right, y'all. But it was nice talking to y'all. January 19th, Den of Thieves. Can't wait to see it. The trailer look amazing. If you haven't seen the trailer, go check it out. Yeah, what's up? It's the Kid 50 Cent. I got Pablo Strive. I got Gerard Butler. I got O'Shea Jackson. Check out my new movie, Den of Thieves. I'm O'Shea Jackson Jr. Check out my new movie with 50 Cent, Gerard Butler, Pablo Strive, January 19th. My name's Jerry Butler. I don't even know these guys' names. So <laughs> Check it out on January 19th. I'm Pablo Trapper. This is my new movie, Den of Thieves. Yo, watch us on The Breakfast Club tomorrow morning. They think they big. <laughs> <laughs>
man Pablo Estrada hello, hello, hello. on your private jet on a tour while we actually promote Dinner Thieves. Got your Rob Butler. Look at O.C. Jackson. O.C. Jackson on the jet. O.C. Jackson on the jet. He's the only one. Are you guys ready for some warm weather? Oh, yeah. We're taking a hike. We're ready for Miami. Don't really know what I do. We do it big. When I do it, we do it big.